Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. I got with my team here a couple of weeks ago, and I said I need. I want to do a segment on Friday nights called Friday Night Fish segment, but that kind of messes up my Friday night cake of the week night. We kind of figure out how we do it. So what I have to do, I have to do the Friday, not really Friday night. It's gonna be a Friday fish. We're going to call it TGIF fish recipe segment. And that's what we're going to call it, but I have to do it on a Thursday night. So this is Thursday when I'm doing this, but you'll see it. Try to get it up as early as I can on Friday. So if you want to do this for your Friday night, you can do that. And then I'll still be doing my Friday night cake of the week, which you'll see every Saturday morning. So this is what I'm going to start. This is going to be the first one, and I'm going to start with catfish, my favorite fish uh, growing up in the country is catfish, you know, freshwater fish that is. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, and also, hold on a second here, y'all. I want to touch base on something here. Uh, I've been getting a lot of uh, last couple of days. I got a lot of new subscribers that look in a lot of my videos and asking why I don't put the recipe. Number one, I put the recipe. I write the whole recipe down. The ingredients and the directions and everything I don't say a lot of the recipes the, the measurements in my video because I like to just be cooking and y'all just watching me cook and then you can go back and get the recipe a lot of people don't write the recipe down in the video they'll maybe tell you a few ingredients or whatever and you just have to keep going back going back going back watching the video and I think that's frustrating I really do if you want to watch my video over and over again that's fine but I don't want to do that purposely where you have to go watch the video over and over again and see what I'm cooking. You go on the description of the video and I'm going to show y'all how I do that. So I'm on YouTube right now. I'm going to go to my channel. And this is my channel come out right here and then I, of course I go to videos. Now these are all the videos I have up. Now I'm going to go to the one that has the cake on it. This one here. Now I'm going to click this. Because a lot of people don't know, uh, hold on, let me cut this off. A lot of people don't know what, how to find the description. I try to make it as easy as possible. I'm trying to put it in separate. I've got a lot of elderly people that watch my channel, and I'm trying to, yeah, I understand that you're wondering why I don't put the recipe. So back to what I was doing. You got the video up here. You see here. Now, right here, at the end of the game, there's an arrow right here. Y'all see that arrow? It's like, it's not really an arrow. I guess it is an arrow pointing down. All you do, hit that arrow, and all this is going to come up. This is the recipe. Hit that arrow again. That's going to go back up. Hit the arrow again. My whole recipe is here, y'all. The whole recipe, even, I even have the my links to my Facebook page, Instagram, my Pinterest, all that on there, my mailing address. If you want to send cat donations, I have my PayPal, my Cash App on there, my email address is on there. On every video I post, you have that information. I just want to make that clear because a lot of people don't know. Uh, they get frustrated. They say, why he don't write the recipe? Can you send me the recipe? I do that. It takes a lot of time, a lot of extra time, but I try to make it as easy as I can. A lot of people, like I said, don't put even the recipe in the description. A lot of them will just put the ingredients and they won't even put how to put it together. A lot of people put the recipe and put the, a link where you go to somewhere else and you got to go to another website, another uh, page and find the recipe. I try to make it as easy as possible on my videos. I really do. So I just want to make that clear while I thought about it. Everything I cook, 99.9% .9 of everything I post has a recipe on it. If I don't put a recipe, I put recipe was previously posted or something like that to let you know. So I just want to let y'all know that. Okay, back to my video here. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to step off. I got some beautiful catfish here. I caught, matter of fact, about three weeks ago at the lake. I got a lake by my house here. If y'all ever seen me broadcasting live at the lake, got some beautiful blue cats there. I'm going to step off, I'm going to fillet these, take the skin off, take the fillets off, and I'm going to come back. I'm going to make some hush puppies right quick, which don't take long. I'm going to put it together very quick. It don't take long to make no homemade hush puppies. That recipe be in the description of the video also. And I'm going to fry this up. I ain't going to even pull out my deep fry. I'm going to do it in my wok. I only pull out my deep fry when I'm frying lots and lots and lots of uh, things. 
because it takes a lot of oil and I don't want to dirty up a lot of oil for two or three pieces of fish. So anyway, I know this was a long introduction, y'all, but I had a few things I need to take care of because I hate when people, I can't say I hate, I get uh, disappointed when people are frustrated that they can't find something on the channel. I know it's there and I'm trying to talk them through it. And I just want them to, my, my, I want my recipes and videos to be as easy and, and, and as flawless as possible. That's why I try to go slow, try to teach as I go why I'm doing something and why I'm putting something here. I don't just put stuff in a bowl and put things together just because of doing, there's a reason, there's a reason for everything I cook and everything I put in a recipe. I try to explain that because some people are new cooks or even older cooks that just don't even know little tricks. I'm still learning myself. So, yeah, that's why I do that. Anyway, I'll be right back, y'all. I'm going to get this fish cleaned up, and I'm going to uh, be back. We're going to put this hush puppy batter together, and we'll be ready for a good fish and, fish and uh, hush puppy. I'm going to put some tater tots in my air fryer. So, anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back here. Okay, I got my fish here all filleted off. Little bitty fillets. That's all enough for me, though. I can eat all them in one shot, y'all. I'm going to put them to the side. Like I say, we're going to make a little uh, hush puppy batter here, y'all. This is so easy, y'all. Make a little hush puppy batter here. I'm going to put a little cornmeal in here. A little cornmeal in there. Cornmeal have the... Okay. Now, put a little flour. I like to put a little flour in mine. We got flour and cornmeal. I like the three. Like I say, the recipe of this will be in the description of the video, y'all. A little sugar. You don't have to put sugar if you don't like it. I like a little sweet corn. Uh, hold on, y'all. Let me get a baking powder here. Uh, if you don't like your sweet, uh, Hush puppy, you don't have to put sugar. All right, little baking powder. Mix this up in here. Like I gotta show y'all, this is so easy, y'all. Homemade hush puppies. Okay, now I got some white onions here. So you can put bacon, you wanna put chopped bacon in it, you can put chopped bacon in there. Mix this up in there. Melted butter with fat. And we're gonna put a little milk in here. And put hold on, put a little salt and pepper. I forgot the salt and pepper, y'all. Just a little salt and pepper, not much. A little bit more, like a half a teaspoon salt and pepper. Oh, one egg. I need to put an egg in here. I got my egg. Egg in there. And a little milk. You don't want to put that much milk, y'all. Because you don't want it to be loose. You want it to be a way you can scoop it with a scoop. Just enough to, you know, bring it together. Pretty much it, y'all. That's it. That's all you want, right there. See that? It's like I made this before, huh? I make hush puppies all the time, y'all. I make hush puppies all the time. So easy to make. Okay. See how easy that was, y'all? That's your homemade hush puppies right there. Okay. I'm going to let this sit to the side here, y'all, because I like to let my hush puppies sit a little bit. Maybe like... Maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes. And then uh just let them kind of bring it together. And then uh then they'll uh fit up better. I have a scoop here. See a little scoop right here, and I'm gonna use this for my hush puppies. So y'all see that? I'm gonna get my fish here. I'm gonna season it up a little. I'm gonna let it sit a little. When we come back, let me get my breading together. So when we come back, 
some salt and pepper there on one side. Turn them over here. Like I said, this catfish ain't gonna take long at all, y'all. This ought to be one of my, tell me use this one in my 30 minute uh, meal segment. That's it. Now, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna get my oil heating up. I'm gonna cook my hush puppies off first. Get them cooked off, because like I tell y'all, if you haven't seen my videos before, I like to snack on the hush puppies while the catfish is cooking. So anyway, I'm going to be right back here. I'm going to get my oil heated up. We're going to cook our hush puppies off, and then we're going to throw the fish in there. Hold on one second here, y'all. I see I'm going to do this first. I'm going to make my bread and mix, which is very easy. Y'all know I make I buy this uh, fish fry. I go to Academy and get it because they have the big version. So this is what I use. I use a little fish fry. And I cut it with flour, with AP flour, y'all. I put a little flour in it so it don't be so, so, uh, so mealy. And that's all I do, y'all. That's all I do. That's my, that's going to be my, uh, breading for the catfish. And I'm going to put a little, one more thing here, y'all. I'm doing this spontaneously. Doing this spontaneously, y'all. Put an egg in here. Just a little milk. And I'm going to put my fish in there and then I'll uh, put it in the... Let me get a fork here. I'm going to use this to bread, uh, put my fish in and then I'll put it in the uh, breading and in the oil. That's it. Looks like I'm going to throw that in there and let it be soaking in there. It ain't going to hurt it. Let it just sit out a little bit in there. And when we come back, we get the uh, get my uh, fire going. When we come back, we're going to fry some hush puppies off, y'all, and then fry some catfish. And we're going to be eating good. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back here. Okay, now let's start getting some hush puppies done here. I let it sit about 20 minutes. I got my oil heating up. And you want your oil to be like 350. If you're playing along at home and got a thermometer, I don't use a thermometer. I can tell by the heat. I can tell the heat by where I put my hand over it. And if I hit it with some oil, I can tell if the oil is hot enough. If it's not hot enough, if it's too hot. That's just, just years of cooking in skillets and stuff like that. But yeah, this thing is almost, let me see here something. And it'll talk to you and tell you it's ready to go. So what I do, I like to put my scoop in here. I do that so it don't stick to the hush puppy. don't stick when I put it in here. See that? Put a little oil in the thing. Then I scoop it. That way the hush puppy won't stick to the scoop. I'll do that every two or three scoops here. Like I say, y'all, this don't take long in our hush puppies. Try to move them around here. They don't get too dark on you too quickly. Very simple, very easy, y'all. Touch puppies. One more here. I think I got it done out of that. And what you want to do, you just want to move them around. Make sure they flip over and don't burn on one side. And I did turn the oil down just a little because the initial one's going to be a little darker. Because the oil was hot when they put them in there. But you don't want to incorporate turn over there. This is pretty much what you want. Let's turn this one over. See how easy that is, y'all? To cook some hush puppies. Don't take long at all, y'all. Don't take long at all. See the kids just move them around. Make sure they don't 
get too dark. And that's it. So we're going to finish cooking these off, y'all. And I will be right back. Okay, y'all, we back in. And let me show you here. Look how pretty these are. You see them hush puppies? They don't take long at all to cook. Let me show you one here. So you can see. Look at that. It's perfectly cooked. Mmm. Look at that. Perfect. Mmm. 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 Like I say, y'all, I like to eat these while I'm cooking my fish. Okay, well, all the heat up on my fish. Let's get started here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my fish in the bag here. Take it up here. We're gonna fry some fish off, y'all. Fry that fish. Ain't no wrong with that, huh? I think this all fit in there one time, y'all. Yes, sir. Here we go. I think I got them all in there. Hey, I did. Well, look at the hush puppies, y'all. Look at that. Mmm. Bring it along, y'all. Fried catfish and hot buckets. Cannot go wrong. I don't care who you are. And you can't get much southern in this either. While they're cooking, I'm going to tell y'all a story. This brings me back memories when I was a child. I grew up in a small town, Jewett, Texas, y'all know this. And a restaurant called the Windmill Restaurant is no longer there. They had all you can eat catfish on Friday night. Every Friday night. Everybody in the town used to go. So it was exciting for us kids. So we get home from school that Friday. We knew we had all you can eat fried catfish coming up. We'd go home, take our baths. Because I had, only had one bathroom in our house growing up. We'd get ready to go wait until our daddy get home from work. And we had to be out his way so he could feed the cows and do what he had to do. Take his bath so we get there about seven o'clock. Get there good when the catfish is really, really fresh. So we be there sitting on the divan. I don't know y'all know what a divan is. Some people call it a couch. Some people call it a sofa. And in the country we call it a divan. So we sit in the living room divan, watch TV. We only had two channels. A black and white TV. We only had two channels in in the growing up. So yeah, we get there waiting when he get there and take his bath. We off to the restaurant. All you can eat catfish. That was the highlight of our week, y'all. Let me tell you, growing up. And this is bringing me back to childhood of growing up. All you can eat catfish growing up in the country. So, yeah, catfish don't take long at all, y'all, to cook. So, we're going to let this sit in here. I got my hush puppies here. I'm trying not to eat them all. See the hush puppies there? I'm trying not to eat them all up before I do my thumbnail for this thing. But yeah, it's just childhood memories and stuff, and that's why I say I want to do a, a fish uh, recipe every Friday for y'all. Friday morning, y'all will see it. It might be baked flounder with crab meat stuff. It might be uh, trout almondine. It's going to be some type of fish. Because I got a lot of Catholic friends that eat fish only fish on Fridays. And some people just like fish on Fridays because it's like fish on Fridays. It has nothing to do with the religion, so yeah. So anyway, this year got about a couple of more minutes, and we're going to get it out of here, and we're going to drain it off. You know, I put it on the rack. Y'all know I put my stuff on the rack. I don't put it on no paper towel. You've been following me long enough, you know that. A paper towel makes your stuff soggy, so try to put it on the rack, your fish. So yeah. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to be right back here. I done talked enough. Be right back. I'm going to get this thing all played up, and then we're going to have us some fish and uh, hush puppies. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back here. My potato and my potatoes. My uh, 
My catfish is ready, hush puppies is ready, and I'm ready. Look at that, y'all. Look at this pretty fish, pretty hush puppies. Look at that. Nice golden brown crispy fish. The hush pup is golden brown. You see how quick I put that meal together? It's gonna be my new Friday night specking. Look at that. Look how look at this catfish. You know it's fresh. I just caught it a couple weeks ago and froze it. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Hush pup, let me show you. Y'all yeah, didn't see the first time. Look at that. Nice, moist, crispy on that side. Moist on the inside, hush puppies, y'all. Look at that. You can't beat it. You can't buy this in a restaurant. Or you did it yourself at home. And it didn't take all night. Actually, if I wasn't doing a video and measuring stuff and all that, it would take me 30 minutes to do this week video here. Yep. So anyway, this gonna be my new segment. Every Friday morning, y'all, y'all will see some kind of fish recipe up. Y'all can look forward to. So, something I've been thinking about for the last two or three weeks. I just hadn't got time to really get it going. But, anyway, I know there's a lot of talking in this video, but I, you know, I don't talk that much. Usually, I try to get the cooking going. But, anyway, I just wanted to touch base on the thing, how you find my description of the recipe and stuff like that. It was very important. So, anyway... Let me close this video out. If you like this video, please share, please subscribe, please comment. Please share the video. That's very important. And comment. I'll read every comment. One thing about me, your comment. I might not reply back to every comment, but I will acknowledge you that you took time to write something on my uh, video. I will give you a heart and a thumbs up. I would acknowledge you. If you take time to, I think that's just a sign of respect. If you take time out of your day and effort to leave a comment, to leave your opinion, I would definitely, if I don't say something, I would at least acknowledge you that I have read your comment. I think that. That's just a sign of respect. So anyway, uh, please share, please subscribe, please comment, please share, uh, follow my other social media account. We're all one big old school. I call y'all my family. You know, I don't call you no follow, subscribe, or nothing like that. You, we are family. <clears throat> so... Uh, follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag, you got three more, four more months of this, help somebody. Next year going to be better hashtag, but this year is help somebody, hashtag, wherever you comment, put that hashtag, help somebody, Old School Soul Food. Like I say, we want that hashtag to go viral. Help somebody, Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> Got a hush puppy stuck in my throat. I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a happy Friday. Love y'all. Bye.